so in the last video up to this we covered what is the need of concurrent collections there are three major problems we identified with the normal traditional collections so some most of the collections are not thread safe already existing thread safe collections performance wise not up to the mark next and after that concurrent modification exception is the biggest headache in the in the case of traditional collections are getting to overcome these problems we should go for concurrent collections right sir what is the first problem with the traditional collection objects traditional collections what is the first problem right sir most of the most of the traditional collections are not the thread safe correct or not just now we covered sir most of the traditional collection objects are not thread safe but concurrent collections are every concurrent collection if you, if you can consider every concurrent collection is always thread safe so first problem by default resolved all concurrent collections are always thread safe right second problem okay sir even some thread safe collections are there like vector hash table performance wise not up to the mark because for any operation total collection object will be locked up by only one thread are you getting that's why sir performance wise not up to the mark performance wise so performance wise not not up to the mark performance is low but concurrent collections performance wise relatively performance is high relatively performance is high because of different locking mechanism are you getting right in the in the in the concurrent collections a different locking we are going to use instead of instead of total collection lock we are going to get my thread is going to get lock of your particular block a particular segment such a type of locking is called segment locking or bucket level locking sir in the next video i will explain in detail not required to worry sir performance wise yes when compared with traditional thread safe collection concurrent collections are too good sir because different locking mechanism by default will be used internally next third one sir so while one thread iterating collection object the remaining threads are not allowed to modify underlying collection by mistake if you are trying to do what will happen sir concurrent modification exception we will get correct right okay this but do you know sir while one thread iterating collection the remaining thread are allowed to modify the remaining threads are allowed to modify underlying collection in safe manner are you getting right in safe way yes the remaining threads are allowed to modify underlying collection and the concurrent collections never throw concurrent modification exception so traditional collection the biggest headache is concurrent modification exception such a type of concurrent modification exception we never going to get in concurrent collections right are you getting so whatever the problems are there in traditional collection we can able to overcome by using what concurrent collections right concurrent collections are best suitable for scalable multi threaded applications sir in my application lakhs of threads i'm going to use thousands of threads i'm going to use in such a type of areas traditional collections are not going to work compulsory we should go for what concurrent collections right are you able to understand sir normal collection concurrent collection can you please explain the differences maybe a chance i hope you are in a position to answer that sir up to that okay now my target is total what are various concurrent collections what are various important concurrent collections sir very very simple just observe that the main important concurrent collection classes are three classes sir these are three things we are going to discuss in detail not required to worry sir first concurrent collection okay can you can you please guess sir can you please give any example for concurrent collection maybe a chance to ask in the entire room ah what are various concurrent collections you aware can you please explain or what are various collection classes you aware everyone can able to learn a list link a list vector has a tree set like but what are various concurrent collections you aware can you please explain then immediately you have to tell first one concurrent ah can i can i spell out concurrent hash map first one concurrent hash map 
second one copy on copy on write a realist copy on write a realist sir why instead of concurrent realist why they use the word copy on write a realist there is a big reason is there that one i will explain sir the total behavior of this realist is copy on write property only what is that we will discuss in detail third concurrent collection is copy on copy on write a reset are you getting third concurrent collection is what copy on write a reset these three concurrent collection yeah the first level we are going to discuss i hope are you able to understand right so what is a traditional collection what problems are there with this sir why these are not suitable for scalable multi-threaded applications sir to how we can i mean these problems how we can overcome concurrent collections concept came sir concurrent collections how these are best suitable for multi multi-threaded scalable application next what are various important concurrent collection classes how many important concurrent collection classes are there three what is the first one copy on i mean concurrent hash map copy on variety list copy on right array set right now these are three classes we have to discuss in detail so with respect to the programs are you able to understand